द वर्ड आइसोटोप इज बेसिकली डिराइव फ्रॉम द टू वर्ड्स आइसो मीन सेम एंड टोपोस मीन पोजिशन सो द वर्ड आइसोटोप लिटरली मीन्स सेम पोजिशन सेम प्लेस वेयर सेम प्लेस दैट सेम प्लेस इज इन द प्रियोडिक टेबल आइसोटोप शेयर ओनली वन प्लेस इन द प्रियोडिक टेबल Now we must think that the periodic table is made depending upon the atomic number of the elements. The modern periodic table. When we say that isotopes have same place in the periodic table, they can have same place in the periodic table only if they have same atomic number. Means same number of protons in their nuclear. So isotopes are the atoms of the same element. having same atomic number but different mass number so isotopes have same atomic number but they have different mass number and they are atoms of single element for example carbon has three isotopes 612 613 6 6 14 and 6 14 they have same atomic number 6 and this 6 basically refers to the number of protons so they have same number of protons in their nuclei but that 12 13 and 14 is the mass number and when we take the difference of the mass number and atomic number it comes out to be the number of neutrons so in case of carbon 6 Twelve minus six, there are six neutrons. Thirteen minus six, here are seven neutrons. And in this case, fourteen minus six, there are eight neutrons. So we can also define the isotopes in another way. That isotopes are the atoms of one element that have same number of protons but different number of neutrons. Now look at this. The same number of proton means this is the similarity within the nucleus. but the different number of neutrons mean this is the difference which also occurs within the nucleus so similarity within the nucleus difference within the nucleus that is basically what the nucleides are all about there is another example that neon has three isotopes neon 20 neon 21 and neon 22 i have written the isotopes of carbon and neon in different fashion because these are the two ways to write down the isotopes 612 613 614 614 this is one representation and another way of the representation is neon 20 21 and 22 in the second way of representation in this one only the mass number is mentioned but the atomic number is missing because the atomic number is same what are the <coughs> similarities and differences between the isotopes of an element because they have same atomic number means they have same number of protons so the number of protons in a neutral atom always equal to the number of electron they will also have same number of electrons because they have same number of electrons so their electronic configuration will also be same and you must have an idea that the chemical properties are related to the electronic configuration of an atom if the electronic configuration is same it simply means that their chemical properties are also same Now, what are the difference differences between the isotopes? The first difference is in the physical properties, and especially those physical properties that are related to mass. And what are those physical properties which are related to mass? They are melting point, they are boiling point, and so many others. Density. So these physical properties of the isotopes that depend upon the mass, they will be different, and listen very carefully that the difference in those physical properties which depend upon the mass this effect in the isotopes is called as isotopic 
effect. What is isotopic effect? The difference in the physical properties of the isotopes due to difference in mass that is called as the isotopic effect. And this isotopic effect has many important applications which are beyond the scope of this lecture. The second difference is in the number of neutrons as I have calculated already. The third difference is in the natural abundance. For example, the carbon 612, it is almost 98.8% in the nature. Similarly, then carbon 13, that is very less, and carbon 14, it is even in the lesser amount. So this percentage of each isotope that occurs naturally, it is called as its natural abundance. And the natural abundance of the isotopes, that is also different from each other. Another very important difference is rate of reaction. The rate of reaction of the isotopes is also different. For example, in case of hydrogen, there are three isotopes, you know, protium, deuterium and tritium. The reactions of the deuterium are much faster as compared to the reaction of the protium. Natural abundance is very important in the sense that whenever we discuss some isotope in the encyclopedia, we will discuss the properties of that isotope that has maximum natural abundance. Whenever you will be reading books, you will see hydrogen in the protium form. And the properties of the protium are mostly discussed. Why? Because it has maximum natural abundance. So our discussion will be focused on that isotope. There are some similarities and differences between the isotopes. And the phenomena of the isotopy was first discussed by the Sodi. Sodi is the name of the scientist. She is not the younger sister of the Soda. He is a scientist. <coughs> now, let's move towards the next discussion. That are some statistical figure about the isotopes. Statics, statistics of isotopes. I will mention some elements having different isotopes, just like fluorine, iodine, arsenic, gold. These are the four iso four elements that have only single isotope, and because they have only one isotope, one stable isotope that occurs in the nature. They are also referred as mono isotopic elements. We discussed these four mono isotopic elements, but overall in the periodic table there are 26 elements that are mono isotopic. Now the elements like chlorine and bromine, they have two isotopes. Carbon, Hydrogen, Oxygen and Neon They have three natural isotopes <coughs> Sulfur Sulfur has four naturally occurring isotopes Similarly, there is a list that Nickel has five isotopes Calcium and Palladium have 6 isotopes Cadmium has 9 isotopes and Tin has 11 isotopes while Silver has 16 isotopes Now let me tell you one thing that the Tin is the element having maximum naturally occurring isotopes and they are not 11, they are 10 the 11th one is the artificial or unstable isotope. Silver has total 16 isotopes but the naturally occurring isotopes are only 2. The remaining 14 they are prepared by the artificial disintegration of the nuclei. <coughs> so here is the list of the elements having different number of the isotopes. In that statistics I will also like to mention one thing more. And that is keep this figure.
figure in your mind 580 580 are the total number of isotopes total number of the isotopes that have been prepared, prepared or discovered so far 580 now out of these 580 isotopes we will divide it into 300 and 280 the 300 are the artificially prepared radio isotopes these are those isotopes that have been prepared by the artificial disintegration artificial disintegration si simply means through the artificial radioactivity and these 280 they are basically naturally occurring isotopes of different elements now out of these 280 isotopes now we divide it into two categories 40 and 240 40 are the natural but radio isotopes these 40 are naturally occurring radio isotopes so if we are asked that how many total number of radio isotopes are there that will be 340 and if we are asked how many naturally occurring radio isotope that will be 40 and the artificial radio isotope that number is the 300 now 280 are the stable isotopes when i say that 240 are the stable isotopes it simply means that these are not radioactive at all let's divide this 280 into another category 154 126 now 154 are those isotopes that have even atomic number and even mass number but 126 are further divided into three categories these 126 they are further divided into the three categories one having even atomic number but odd mass number second having even mass number but odd atomic number and the third category is the one in which both atomic number and the mass number are even i will like to give some examples like hydrogen 11 hydrogen 11 means its atomic number and mass number both are odd so it is having both odd 126 isotopes that belong to the third category either a is odd z is even either a is even z is odd or both are odd so that means these 126 are can be further classified into the three categories now these 154 are those that have both 154 are those that have both a and z even out of these 154 now we will further divide it into 5 and what are those 5 and why they are very important actually those 5 are these 5 are oxygen 816 magnesium 1224 silicon 1428 calcium 2040 iron 26 and 56 now out of 154 that have both a and z even the five are very important you can see one thing common in these five isotopes or these five atoms that their mass number is multiple of 
and those isotopes having mass number multiple of four, they are especially variable net in the earth crust and almost 50% of the earth crust is made of them.